yeah. that everybody was not just brutally hung over. <laughs> I, I, so I woke up at 5 a.m. that day. Everyone was yeah. talking about how they like set alarms to to see how the election went, and yeah. I'm the kind of person who's like, me knowing the election is not going to change anything. So I just went to bed at like 9 o'clock. I woke up at 5, grabbed my phone, opened up Reddit, and on R Unexpected, one of the the top posts was the 45th president of the United States, and it was just a picture of Donald Trump. <laughs> And <laughs> I laughed, got sad, and was like, alright, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> like, so, on my end, <laughs> so, um, I, I told, uh, I was with, uh, Colin, Anthony, uh, Tyler, and Marcos, because we were at Nevs. Yep. Or, no, we were at, uh, Scarsdale. Yep. And then, what I told them was, like, uh, after, well, the Tuesday night until, like, Wednesday, I was, like, a degenerate, but in a really bad way, where I was just, like, so, what was I doing on Tuesday? Okay, so Tuesday I was at like Yale Fest or whatever, and then me, like all the Yale kids, Eric Bennett, and do you know, uh, I, think he goes, I think he used to go by Tag Teamwork. Sam. Sam, yeah. Sam, me, Sam, <coughs> other people. Uh, I think Meredith was there. We were just like watching like the uh, election polls, at, like the whatever else was happening. We we're all just like, oh my god, this world's gonna end or something. And then, but after, like, after Yelfest was over, and then I drove Anthony back to Bridgeport, all the way from New Haven, I had to go back to Hamden, and then, like, the whole, I was just, like, super depressed. So, <laughs> but basically, basically what I did was, um, once, well, I got back to Hamden around, like, 2, 3 a.m., I just stayed up, like, the whole night through, like, next, like, morning <laughs> until 8, just looking through my phone and, like, l watching the world just, like, shatter. I was like, what is this the world come to? <laughs> I was so depressed. Uh, it's sad days, dude, but... You know what? It is what it is. Bring back Obama. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Obama 2016. <laughs> Giant meteor. That, uh, I just want I was like, clinging onto the whole, just randomly a spirit bomb would happen. <laughs> uh, just like the entirety of California forgot to vote. I saw that, dude. I was so proud of you. I was like, I don't want to do it just as a meme. <laughs> <laughs> just as a meme. God bless. Maybe next time. You should do it against me. Just start force stalking me and then just let me come back. Yeah, I got you. Alright. <laughs> next time, yeah. I'm definitely gonna regret that. But not in my language. boy. Yeah, so... Well, I'm confused as to why they're on Dreamland. Is this game one? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't either. Oh, actually, no, because I played against with base round three or whatever, it's, and then... Is I, he doing that Zozo shit, where he just strikes to Dreamland? No, no, well, okay, so game one was on Battlefield, but then I was expecting him to, like, strike Dreamland so that I would be able to go FOD, but he ended up striking FOD and went to Dreamland, and, like, I guess that's kind of why I did, like, a little bit better than I did on Battlefield, mm -hmm. but I ended up losing anyway, but I was like, what? I didn't want to ask, because I guess he had his reasons, but I was like, why did he ban, like, FOD? And just Tyler keeps doing invincible side beats from Ledge, and Tim keeps trying to jab it, and it's making me sad, and I want him to stop doing that. <laughs> It's like actually, bo it really bothers me when people get hit by, it bothers me when I get hit by that, because I get hit by that too. Oh, no. It also bothers me when people do that down throw forward smash, because it never works. <laughs> there you go, tech chase him. Just, Martin just needs to tech chase Falco. If you can't chain grab him, just tech chase. Isn't it like a little bit harder? Tech chasing Falco? Yeah. yeah, it's hard as shit. But the thing is, it goes forever, so... <laughs> what? Like, not actually forever, but if you're good, you can definitely tech chase for, like, 70% at a time. Oh, wow. I've definitely done it to Tyler. Like, when I, when I tech chase Tyler, I usually... My goal is to get at least 50%. Like, it's almost a chain grab. 50%. How much, how much percent do you get off, like, one grab? Like, when, when we grab and throw, like, how much, how much percent is that all together? From like landing one grab, yeah. um, Mars do like, s I think Mars do like five or six. Mm, okay, that's not too bad. So I'm Sheik's do like thirty-three. Yeah. You like grab him at zero and just down throw on there at twenty-five already. Yeah. Bunch of bullshit. I'm sorry. <laughs> you should be. I'm mad at you personally. I hold you accountable. But that's how Sheik wins if she didn't have that. If she was Pal Sheik, oh my god. Pal Sheik is good too, are you kidding? Yeah, but like they go nowhere after the grab. That's fine. 
That's <laughs> terrible. How am I supposed to play Sheik? What do you mean? How are you supposed to play Sheik? For the for like years, the best player in Europe was Sheik. Was uh, a Sheik player. Right. But like, I remember, I forget which tournament it was, but I was watching like Oms, like brother Opsa play mm -hmm. against like some Peach. It was just Armada. No, it wasn't Armada. It was like some <laughs> other one. But it was just really bad because like after a down throw, it was like. Oh yeah, no, there's no setup. Uh, but yeah, then, but Am yeah. is so good. Yeah. He's like ridiculously good. The fact that he got as far as he did, it just like in melee in general, without a down throw. Oh, that's true. Is insane. Yeah. Like, just imagine if you played Sheik and actually couldn't down throw. How good do you think you'd be? I'd be pretty bad. Right? <laughs> I'd probably like. Like if Marth's down know. throw didn't work the way it did, then I don't know where I would be. <laughs> well, no, you'd use forward throw and back throw. Well, true. <laughs> no, Tim, double jump up there. Ugh. Riff. I'm not saying I would win this free, but All right, that was a good recovery. Now down throw him. Yep. No, no, no. There you. No. Sort of got Tim. I All can't. Right. I can't say anything because I have no. I have. I feel like underpowered for me to like be able to say anything. <laughs> you feel underpowered. I don't know. I feel like yes, yes, this is it. No, he always goes for that. <laughs> he always goes for the platform. So Tyler only has two recovery options that he goes for. That's like the fade in up, uh, up B, or he tries to side B to the ledge. He usually doesn't put himself in a position where uh, where jab is actually an option to cover anything that he's gonna do. That's a yeah, and now this, he'll also just do this. He'll just like space you with ledges at the ledge. Yeah, there you go. That's how you catch him. That's some Marth shit right there. <laughs> no, that is like the Marthiest Marth shit of all time. <laughs> Dude, I was playing this Falco at Nebs and I literally just down threw him off of the stage for two hours. Just destroyed him repeatedly. It was <laughs> the most fun I've ever had playing <laughs> melee. <laughs> wow. Because he's like, what, are, what am I doing wrong? Because all I would do is I would just stand at the ledge and then power shield his approach and grab him. Oh my he's God. like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. He said, well, I don't know, dude. It's pretty rough. And I just, <laughs> just grab him down throw him. Uh, actually, I'm not going to lie. When you're playing someone that like, kinda, like you're kind of better than, and then if you can just like give him a lower percent, it actually is a lot of fun. Oh, it's incredibly fun. That's It's the reason I play Marth, honestly. Is, well, I feel like at least for Spacey, it's really easy. But isn't it like kind of like different for like other characters? What do you mean? Like, like harder to get with other characters? Yeah. Oh yeah, sense. absolutely. I mean, with Sheik, it's easy as shit. Yeah. I'm, I don't know. I'm thinking like Puff. Like, like the. Floaties, oh yeah. I mean, I you don't. Yeah, you don't gimp Puff. That. <laughs> I mean, you can't. Yeah, gimping Puff is like up smash, tipper up smashing her at fifty. Wait, but like, can't you? Oh wait no! Did you have you seen that? Um, have you seen like on Twitter? Like you, you, you follow Smash Twitter a lot. I'm guessing you do, right? Or no? I kind of. Like, did, did you see that one tweet? It was like some Japanese person who like, had like his profile picture was like a puff or something. But he had like this uh, Peach Tech thing. Well, not like a tech against Peach, where when she's like floating like right below the ledge and she like upbees. If you tech like the first hit of the upbee, you can like it's, like hit her like right back immediately. So like I think for Marth. Uh, was, oh yeah, I did yeah. see that. So then, yeah, like you just stay on the ledge and then tech her up B and then yeah. you hit her. Yeah. So like, I guess like against Peach, you'd be able. Well, assuming you get her like in that position where she's below the ledge, wouldn't she, wouldn't she be able to like uh, kill her low percents? Probably. I don't know. Killing Peach from below ledge is like you, is usually pretty feasible with Marth because it's really hard for her to sweet spot with her with her umbrella. Mm. So a lot of time you can just down tilt her and she dies. Right. Oh my god, Tyler's just gonna laser camp until Tim gets mad and then approaches. And then he just has to approach through lasers. That's that Falco shit right there. That is that Falco shit right there. Oh, so Jays. Yeah, down throw. No, down throw. Down throw. Yeah, no. Just only ever grab. Alright. Yes, yes, that's that me shit. <laughs> the me shit. That forward air. I tried to convince him for like a year that it was good, and he was so sure that it wasn't. <laughs> Alright, no, he should have done one more forward throw, and then Tyler probably would have died. No. I'm, <laughs> I'm just mad at Tim. I'm just acting like I'm better than him right now. <laughs> that's fucked up. If, if you were in Tim's position, do you think you'd be able to get like all the stuff that he's missing? 
All of it? No. Okay. Like, the, the one thing that I'm fairly confident that I'm better than Tim at is edge guarding, and that's, like, the one thing. When it comes to neutral, he's, like, miles better than I am. Mm. Dude, what's neutral? I have, like, yet to understand. <laughs> you have yet to understand what neutral is? Yeah. It's just, like, before you've hit each other, mm. basically. So, okay. like, when you're dash dancing and trying to figure out how to hit your opponent and how to approach, that's the neutral game. Mm. Cause like for a long time, it, you ever see you ever see this hashtag on Twitter like FTC manga edits? Yes. <laughs> Do you ever see the one? It's like the little kid just like walking to a store, but then like the clerk or it's supposed to be like a venue, but like it's like a store in a manga. And like the guy's like, "Hey, little kid, like smash your tutor, like smash your tutors down." And the little kid's like, "Like, uh, it's like I'm not a little kid. I can play other fighting games too." And the guy's like, "All right, then what are what's pussies?" And she's and like two panels are just pictures. She's like, uh, "What?" <laughs> like, that's basically me. <laughs> Like, I don't know what neutral is, so fuck if I know what pussies are. <laughs> still, still don't know what video games are. Nope. What even is this? Uh, what round is this? Jimmy! Jimmy! What round is this? What round is this? What round is this? Is this winter semis? Winter's quarters? It's gotta be semis, right? Because what, what's the other side of bracket? Is it, um... Anthony and somebody. Ah, we're Holy moly, that was sick. That was pretty sick too. <laughs> <laughs> that was just interesting to watch. No, he's gonna yeah, punish that double jump every time. Is it easy for Marth to like get under Falco when he like high, like, does like a accidental like, high jump laser? Or yeah. Laser? Wait, when he does what? Like when he does like a high laser or whatever, or double jump laser or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. when he does like laser from ledge or just when he double jumps to try to get away. Get away. Uh, it's pretty easy. It's one of those things that's easy as long as you're aware that that's what they're trying to do. If you don't realize that that's what they're doing, then you're gonna get yourself screwed. Mm. Probably think about that more. <laughs> Yeah, like, punishing double jumps is something, it, at least for me, that I have to be like, oh, he's double jumping. I want to see Tim just do drop-off fares <laughs> when he does stuff like that. Because Tyler stalls a lot, so you can punish him by just, like, doing forward throws and then down tilting and then just doing a fastball forward air and it'll kill him. Because he'll sit in his shine forever to the point where he can sweet spot the ledge. Right. So you either just drop off forward air or grab ledge and it's all over. I wish I actually played Mars so I can like, like have notes of this. <laughs> <laughs> this is good to know. Down throw. Oh, you need to start up throwing later. Or does shit like this happen? Yeah, here we go. No! <laughs> no, God Was he trying damn. to go for the reset? Yes, he was. <laughs> the reset doesn't work. Mars jab can never reset because it's too strong. <laughs> Just, just don't bother with jab resetting as Marth. Against good players, it doesn't work. Because they can SDI up at zero. Wait, I thought that was just Falcon. No, Marth, that... Marth sucks too. Uh, it's also really slow. Because, like... I know... Well, okay. From, for Lee Sheik, I guess, like, Spacey's... Once, once they're, like, past 30%, but if I jab, then they'd be able to SDI or whatever. But, like, below, like, 30 or maybe, like, 20 or something. Like... If I jab them, they can't do anything. Yeah. Well, that's because you have that chic privilege. <laughs> You're like... I don't know. Yeah. But then, um... When I was playing against, like, Eric Bennett on Tuesday... Well, I mean, I kind of already knew this already, but, like, once they start SCIing it, I'm, like, literally never allowed to do it again. <laughs> with, like, no, that's not true, though. Haven't you seen how Mewtwo King handles it? Well, yeah, he, he elf tilts. He elf tilts right after. But isn't that no. one against Falcon? No, against well against Falcon, what he'll do is he'll jab reset and then just auto do an up air right after to catch oh, their double it, jump. Oh. It's so sick. You right? Yeah, no, know. you can still jab reset. It's just you're not getting the the punish that you're expecting oh, typically. Yeah, yeah. Ew. Rolling inverse Falco is so scary. Really? He's so good at punishing it. 
No. Is that a Marth privilege being, or is that a Marth thing that like you can do, or what? Like, oh no, no, it was like rolling in. Was that like an accident or rolling in? Yeah. Um, for me, typically it is. It's not always a bad thing. You just have to oh, go out and hit him, dude. <laughs> Marth, Marth never has to guess. Never does he have to guess against Falco. Yeah. And oh, you can react to everything. That's my philosophy. Like, Falco should, if he's at any kind of reasonable distance, he should never, ever make it back. Can, can like, can uh, Marth, when he's, like, like, out in, like, a little bit away from, I don't know, I guess he's, he said, like, a reasonable distance, yeah. can he, like, up his whatever, um, you just have to go out and, like, like fair him, right? Like, you yeah, I mean, else. you can you can react to their up B. Like, you, you, you watch for... I typically listen for the sound, um, listen for the sound, or just like watch for the flames, because you can react to that super easily, and then if you hear the ping, that's when you jab. Ah, okay. So you have you have two audio visual cues that you can go by, but there's n there's no reason to let him back. Like what Tim did right there is perfect. Once you saw him up being, he forward aired him, and then he just dropped off and did a side B because that covered every other option that was that existed. What is scary? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That was that was sick. sick. But Tim saw the double jump, so he's not dead. Oh no! Yeah, that was that was really good by Tim too. Not trying to double jump too early out of that, but he's probably still dead because this corner pressure is a nightmare to get out of. <laughs> Oh no, he gets out of he got out of it. That's impressive. But he's dead anyway, so I was still kinda right. We in there. Except forty percent against Falco is Not like the deal. scariest percentage in the game for him. Oh, is it? Oh it's insanely against Marth it is, yeah. Cause, I mean everything works. So oh, right. if you get hit at forty percent, then you're just gonna go straight to seventy. <laughs> and once you're at seventy you're in up throw tipper range. This is going to be an up throw to the platform. Yep. Nope. Too far. Up throw. Oh, that was sick. Oh, my God. The this, tech is, chase. this is so good. This is how you win. Oh, my God. Go hit him, please. Down throw. See how see? Drop. Red. Wah, wah. That was a sick set. Yeah. Even though was. I was kind of rooting for Tim the whole time. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. 